Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends Punisher figure. I believe this is the very first Punisher that ever came out in the Marvel Legends line. He's one of the very early figures, so he has some kind of unique features. I think this is my favorite Marvel Legends Punisher, despite some of the weirdness, like these strange wrists that are oddly shaped and oddly sculpted and hinged. I still think he's my favorite. We're also going to take a quick look at the box set version, which is mostly the same figure, except he comes with a cloth coat. The head is obviously a different sculpt. They opened his mouth and made him look like he's yelling. He has a little bit more blue in his hair. He has a lot more blue throughout the body. You can see the blue shading on the shoulder there and throughout the pants. This one does not have the blue shading. This one does. This guy has the glossy blue or glossy black gloves, whereas the classic one has the white. And then same thing for the boots. There's nice paintwork on those silver buckles, uh, but the boots are gloss black instead of white. So that's kind of a cool feature. Uh, pretty much otherwise the same. I think this guy came with a rocket launcher or a bazooka. This might have just been with the Thomas Jane figure, though. I don't remember. Uh, I've had different ones throughout the years, and I, I, sometimes the accessories get kind of lost and swapped out and stuff. But it looks kind of cool. It's a little cartoonish, but still fairly realistic, and I like the way it's done. It's a little sloppy, but still has a nice appeal to it. So that's the one from the box set. We're going to look at this one, though. This guy came with a gun like this, or this one in particular. I'm not 100% sure. I know it was this sort of gun, and I think it was this one, but I'm not positive anymore. And I think he came with a pistol, but I couldn't find it. Sorry. This face, I do prefer this one over the other one. It's just a little less cartoonish. Still a little bit, but has a nice look to it. As far as the articulation goes, the head can lean from side to side, so you can give him some attitude when you're posing him, so that's cool. Full swivel, of course. Doesn't look up and down a whole lot, just a little bit. Probably enough but it could be better. I think that neck rotates too, does it? See how the neck is a separate piece? I think, yeah, the neck actually rotates. So that's going to make posing him a little more natural. So that's really cool. I appreciate that. That way it doesn't look like his head's turning on top of the neck only. That's I like that a lot. Shoulders are standard ball hinge. So no big deal there. Let's turn that around to the way it's supposed to be. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, doesn't give you the greatest range of motion. Like I said, this is an early figure. Not bad though. Uh, we have a wrist swivel there and a wrist hinge, and it's just a little awkward. It's not horrible, especially once you get imposed, but it's not great. And we do have a finger hinge also, so if you want to, uh, you can have him hold the gun in either hand, or you can have him hold the gun in both hands. And it's going to look pretty good. They did a decent job with this figure, I think. Definitely for being so early. Very nice sculpt work and it looks good. The logo is actually sculpted in and they have some really nice shading on there. He has a waist twist below the belt. It's pretty limited, but it is there, technically. The hips move forward and back. These are kind of like DCUC style hips. They're not as ugly as they could be, but they're definitely not great. It ends up with kind of a big, weird, gaping hole once they're posed. But when he's standing there, they look pretty good. So. I'll let it slide, I guess, for being such an early figure. He has a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, which give him good range of motion. He does have a boot swivel at the top of the boot. The boots are painted nicely. Lots of shading and line work, and then the buckles are painted. And he has an ankle hinge, an ankle rocker, and a toe hinge, which is kind of ugly, but it is included, so it's not horrible. Again, this is my favorite Punisher, despite its flaws. I still think it's the best classic looking Punisher that we've gotten. So I do recommend it if you're into the Punisher. You should probably grab one of these classic Punisher figures. I do like it and I think you will too. Did I do a height measurement? I don't know if I did so I'm going to do another one just in case. He's about six and a quarter inches tall roughly. There it is guys. I'll put him in some poses so you can see what he looks like. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.